We're exploring the uh, orange, <laughs> orange farm. We just met the owner, he's a really good guy, providing us some orange juice. They have really good orange juice. So delicious. We got bags and we're gonna pick oranges, tangerines. So what's the name of this place? Yummy Harvest. The Yummy best Harvest. Juice we have the uh, uh, orange that is, is called Hamlin's and it, this is the the least acidic of all the oranges mm -hmm. and it's really, really sweet. We yeah. have here, um, our property is 36 acres and we have planted in oranges 12 acres. We have um, approximately 1,500 trees. And, 1,500, um, oh wow. And people just love it. We are here in Central Florida. We're located in Lady Lake. Lady Lake. And um, for the past five years, we've been selling our juice to the big juicing companies. And this year with my wife, we decided to just do, um, to share our experience with our neighbors. And we got this big surprise that we have people coming from Tampa, from south of Orlando, from Jacksonville, from Gainesville, two hours away, and they love it. They love our juice. Yummy harvest. Yeah, I love it. Out. I love it too. The juice, guys, was awesome. Really <laughs> delicious. And uh, we got it actually for free, a couple of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really, really good owner. W what's your name again? Oscar Torres. Oscar Torres. He's so friendly, and uh, I feel like I'm home. Yes. So let's see, how many employees do you have here? Well, we have a, a people, a, um, a company that does the management of our... Ah, yeah, you have the company? Yes. Nice. But I take care of doing the water. Yeah. That's the most important, one of the most important yes. things here. So I take care of that. And, and as I tell you, this is the first year that we do you pick and it's been fantastic. I like to see families being so happy, sharing this experience, you know, with the nature and enjoying the fact that they're picking their own oranges and then juice it and drink it really fresh from the tree that's amazing oh wow nice <laughs> and do you use any like fertilizing uh, for uh, like any yeah like regular uh, groves you know uh, the, the, the green in florida is all over so we do basically they, they do a really good management here mm -hmm. this is uh, one of the few groves that is still producing in central florida and we are very glad that we we have an excellent product. Yeah, it's delicious. Let so me show nice. you here. So, all of that, and I'm glad that you are tall, so you can get, like... <laughs> yeah, I can reach the, uh, <laughs> the orange ones. The orange. So this is mandarin no, or, no, or tangerine, or it's orange? No, no, these are oranges. This is oranges. Yeah, oranges, yes, definitely. So they, they, they're really mature. Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to... Pick. How old is this tree? Uh, probably 35 years old. 35 years 35, old? Yeah. Wow. 35 years old. Same as me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're 36. A, he, I'm 36, <laughs> but inside I'm still 35. <laughs> right. All right, so this is, this is the way that you pick them. You just go like this. Up. Let me see how you pick them. Up and down. Mm -hmm. Very easy, okay? Mm -hmm. So you touch it, you see the consistency? This is good. Mm -hmm. Touch it, it's, it's good. So it should be soft or if what? Let me really see. If it is really soft, I prefer not, not to take it. Mm -hmm. If it is really soft because it's like. Soft it too early or it's already. No, no, don't, don't take the, the ones that are really, really soft. Mm -hmm. they, they are like, I guess. Not good. Not, not good like this one. Mm -hmm. But this one is. So, but, like, but what, what do you do with like the dry this ones? One you just, just throw them yeah. away? It's fertilizer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fertilizer. All right. Natural. He explained us how to pick oranges and now we can go and just do by ourselves. So just like that up and down. Nice. Let me try it now. Okay, I'm going to taste one just like that. They're so juicy. Look. Mmm. So nice. You can't find these oranges in the store because in storage, well, I mean in store you always see nice, beautiful, shiny, without any imperfections oranges. But these oranges, look, they, they actually, I would say they're ugly. Like they have all stains, marks. 
but they super delicious they're really nice i'm gonna fill all those bags now and one more one more you see that i wouldn't say they are beautiful but they're super delicious they're not the store orange is not even close to this and you see how funny they bought this farm i don't know if i can call it farm but let's say it's farm they bought it five years ago and they hire management company and that's it and they run all business they take care of the trees yeah, I think it's a good business idea. You can just buy the farm and find a management company like like real estate management company and you let them take care of everything. Really nice. I like this idea. I would like to check the price, how much they sell in this farms like this. Let's see how my wife enjoying picking it. Katya, do you like it? You love it? Nice. It's a lot of fun too. Kids having a good time. Let me see how many you got. Oh, wow, nice. nice. Can I give you more? I'm gonna fill this bag with oranges now. Oh, I see a lot of here really nice ones they should be all good because they always on the sunny side i'm gonna take them this is actually first time in my life i'm picking oranges it's so cool ah. look how beautiful how beautiful they are Owner looks happy too. Good guy, he has good vibes. They also have some fallen oranges on the floor. Oh yeah, I wish I could get those. So right now they basically closed, but they open only for uh, their full Facebook followers by appointment only friend of mine she's following them on Facebook and she did schedule an appointment for us and uh, so there are only two families another family came here and us and we were one hour later so they said no worries just come and I wonder how much money this farm can bring 32 acres, I wouldn't say it's big, but in my mind, owning a farm, it was like you have to always be there and work, spend a lot of time, basically spend all your life. But what I found out, you can just hire the company and they run for you and they know everything better than owners. Basically, you can own it and don't even come here that's good idea i want it i want orange farm now okay just got one bag i'm gonna fill up two more for my friends this is owner hi <laughs> they have smaller trees for kids kids can easily reach oranges and taller for for adults and really tall ones for big guys so they have they have all they have all sizes i like this farm i would definitely come again this is leova picked all those oranges leova say hi marta say hi i found in tree and here a lot of oranges look at this just covered with oranges, how nice. When I was a kid, we had a lot of apples in our backyard and we 
carefully pick them and put in the boxes separate from each other and then my father put them in basement and they last almost until next harvest and we we could eat all winter all in apples and we didn't use any uh was the like like the wax we just put them carefully don't beat them anywhere and just put the whole apple and they last for a long time oranges probably won't do that and also we use like to reach the on the very top we use stick and we cut old water bottle just cut it put on the stick and pick with it you just put apple inside and push it up and that's it nice they have a lot of big ones too yeah you see but they all have stains and signs not like in the store i think if we have to pick ugly vegetables and fruits it means they're from real farms not artificially made or something like that or use a lot of chemicals they have all everywhere water pipes so every tree see like that and they just water in every tree here I heard if you have like animals for heads, any cows or sheep, you do not pay property tax. I don't know if it's true or not, I'm gonna ask him later. But if you guys know, send me, you can write comment. And, oh, looks like those guys, they like oranges. Oh my God, so many of them. Hey, be careful, here are a lot of ropes. Okay, who's first? Okay, you came here first. You get in this one? Uh-oh. Probably I gotta cut them. Juicy? Nice, right? You like it. I see you like it. Yeah, right here. Take it. Take it. Yeah. Let me touch you. Okay, guys, we're gonna bring you more now. Mm, I'm having a lot of fun feeding those ships. Yum, 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 yum. You want one too? Get it. They're picking very carefully. They don't bite my fingers. Oh, look right there, the little, little guy. I'm gonna try to reach him. Oop, oop, I always hit him. Guys, one more. You see, these two guys, they don't afraid. They come and they stand in the first line. And this one too, like three of them. And they eat almost all oranges. So it's like in real life. If you, if you don't afraid, you're getting a lot of oranges. All right, guys, we gotta go. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Eating oranges, eating your oranges. We're about to leave this place. We're gonna go and pay. I'll let you know how much is it for all those oranges. And we're gonna go home. Wow. Here we got all these bags of oranges. We're gonna pay. How many bags we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that bucket, ten. 
<laughs> let me ask you, let me, let me ask you one question. So I heard if you have, a, so you call it farm or how, how you call this place? Farm? Yeah, farm. Yeah. So if you have, uh, orange grove or farm. If you have like, uh, like ships, you have ships. And I heard if you have uh, for any animals, animals, you don't pay property tax. Is it true? Well, it's not that you don't pay, you pay at a discount. Yeah, prices, you, pay, yes. you pay like yeah. 50% or? I, I'm not sure how no, much, yeah. but like but uh, yes, you pay a, a lot less. So it looks, lo lo looks like farm is a good place. They don't even count is. money. They don't know how much. They, <laughs> they don't care how much they spend. <laughs> Definitely having a growth is very, very good because you end up paying less taxes. <laughs> gotcha, all right. Okay. Okay. Let's pay for this, and so we're gonna go. <laughs> so you sell you sell like this always yes. orange juice? Yes. Yeah. And you have it all the time, or? Yeah, we yeah? have it all the time. Yeah. So, but orange juice, how many times in year? You have like two times? The, the or no, just once. Once just once? Year. once a year. Yeah, but we see right now, uh, you see the flowers, so the, all, be, all, all this flowers going to be next year? It's going to be ready by by March, at the end of March, we, we already have like a little, little fruit already. Mm. And it grows from March to December, it grows all the way, I mean, to mature. It's mm. awesome. Okay. Really? Yeah. Cheers. You want more juice? You love it, eh? <laughs> Here you go. So, but okay, you okay. store them somewhere or not? When yeah, you pick from the trees, no, yeah. We, we picked this one yesterday. I mean, so basically, you sell you sell them like right away. You don't keep them. No, you, no. You, I mean, when we want to juice it, uh, we're gonna put it in the, in, in the freezer. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's it. it. That's yeah. it. And whoever wants to take it. And for how long you can keep it in the in, fridge? In the refrigerator, ten days. Ten days. That's but, it. But, but mm -hmm. when you freeze it. You can keep it for months. Ah, really? Oh, yeah. oh you freeze it. Oh, yeah. nice. And wow. This, this is why we're selling it like this because these are mm -hmm. freezeable, freezeable bags. Mm. And these are food graded mm -hmm. freezeable bags. Nice. And this is a half gallon. So, mm, wow. Yeah. It's good. You can keep it in, the, in, your, in your freezer for. Really for nice. Months. And you can make screwdriver at any time. Yeah. It's really good. And it nice. keeps the. So, but you live here or? Yes, yes, yeah? we live here on the top of the hill. Mm. We have our house there. So, and, and what time you have to wake up at the farm? Probably we start our day at 6.30 in the morning. 6.30, yeah. Yes. Mm, nice. But having, uh, it, it, for us, it, for us, it's not, it's like, it's not like, like a job. It's, it's yeah, not just. We enjoy doing this. Yeah. Like bears? bears yes. Oh, really? They come? They come, yeah. They yeah. visit us every single day. They really? Have some, uh, some good, um, um, they talk to our horses. Really? Yeah. They, oh, you have horses too? Horses. Really? Yeah. <laughs> they get in alone? Yeah. yeah they get yeah. in alone because they come every every day. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. they love that. Time to go home. Thank you for this farm, guys. If you want to come here, it's really a good place. I really like good owners from uh, Colombia, very friendly. He's not pushing us to go fast or something like that. We took our time and. Right guys, see you, have a good one.